the moral of it is when you do not know your own goodness and you don't know you have a diamond, people will replace it with you giving it to them. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You have your diamond, someone has something looking better than yours. I respect China and I think it's a very, very big economy, one of the superpowers of the globe. But what I'm about to say, no offense to them, it is a sign of their intelligence to show that they cater for every sphere of the market. Listen to this. I had to say that before I said what I'm saying. They come up with little stones that look more genuine than the most genuine of diamonds. How much is this? Three ringgit. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. What powerful brains. The original watch looks fake next to the one which is 90 ringgit. It's a fact. Look at how powerful. So what happens? They say, oh, beautiful what? We have the latest one, a later one than that. Let's see your what. And they take it. And subhanAllah, they look at it. Before you know it, it's replaced. The genuine one is down. They give it back to you. You say, thank you for shining my watch. <laughs> we are doing that with our faith. We are doing that with our religion. Where we are replacing the goodness we have sometimes. Because we don't know it is goodness. You know, I saw a man and he told me, look at this watch. It was a Patek Philippe, which is about 25,000 pounds. And he gave it to me as a gift. And he tells me, I bought it for $90. I said, what? I took it to an expert to change the battery. Wallahi, without a joke, he told me, I can't touch this. I said, why? He said, you need to take it to the company. You know, because this is a genuine watch. And I looked at him and I th thought to myself, I'm not selling my story here, but I know that this man is conned. He, he really is a genuine expert and he still doesn't know the difference because those making fakes have become expert at making them. Subhanallah. So those who really want to sell you something that they are portraying to be religion and a good part of religion are becoming experts at doing that. It's becoming more and more difficult sometimes to distinguish between fact and fable. Subhanallah. But if you know the path and you have knowledge yourself, you will be able to tell. Do you know what? Subhanallah. This is actually the right path and that is fake. The same brother told me if they could make the whole watch if they could make the whole watch, then to write there, made in Switzerland, is probably the easiest thing they had to do. Think of what I just said. If they could imitate the whole watch so powerfully, what was the easiest thing to imitate? Writing in ink, made in Switzerland. That was the easiest. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors.